Hello, I am your teacher, Gary Vernier. Welcome to Activate Your Grammar. Today, you're going to learn how to use the present perfect tense to ask yes-no questions. Let's begin with what you already know, how to ask a yes-no question in Spanish in the present perfect tense. In Spanish, it's pretty easy. You simply use the exact same sentence as an affirmative declaration, except that you add question marks, and when you speak, you change the intonation of your voice. Here is an example. ¿Has terminado la tarea? is the affirmative sentence. The yes-no question, ¿Has terminado la tarea? In English, to ask yes-no questions in the present perfect tense, the structure is a little different than in the affirmative and negative sentences. So what do we do to form a yes-no question in the present perfect? In English, you always need to start the question with the word have or has. Let me repeat the rule again. You must always start the question with have or has. Here is the formula. Have or has plus the subject plus the participle. Let's look at some examples. Have you eaten dinner yet? Has she visited Paris before? Have they arrived at the hotel? Has their plane landed? The video will now stop and you will have an activity to identify yes-no questions in the present perfect tense in English. Okay, so now you understand how to ask a question in the present perfect tense. So let's review the present perfect. For an affirmative sentence, you follow this formula, the subject plus have or has plus the participle. I have studied English before. For a negative sentence, you follow this formula, the subject plus have or has plus not plus the participle. I have not studied English before. Remember, when you speak, you contract have or has with not to form haven't or hasn't in negative sentences. For a question, you invert the subject and have or has. Here is the formula. Have or has plus the subject plus the participle. Have you studied English before? The video will now stop and you will have an activity to form sentences and questions in the present perfect with affirmative and negative sentences and questions. Congratulations! Now you know how to speak in the present perfect tense. I will see you back here again for the next lesson. Good luck!